Okay, welcome to another tutorial. This is um, me showing you basically the MPC software and the MPC hardware right now upgraded to version 1.3. You see I'm running, I have my MPC studio here and I have it also connected with my MPC Akai MPK49. All right. Um, gonna go ahead and open up the software here um, and show you how I have mine set up okay, now that's open up what I would normally do what I normally do is you can see on the hardware here everything loads up as I load it in the computer now what I do here I basically have a preset that I save as a template that loads up all my drum program so whenever I'm going to make a new beat all I do is just hit that preset boom and the whole everything loads up all my drum kicks my programs my patch phrases everything just loads right up and it loads up in the hardware as well All right. now basically this is just while you're watching on the computer screen what I'm gonna do is just use the hardware just to set up a new sequence so we have sequence one go down boom. change it to normally four bar loop um, go here and by pressing this pressing the numeric the numeric button here I can just go ahead and punch in my tempo punch in my tempo using just the numeric keypad you can see it's lit green once you press the numeric keyboard and then I can just go ahead and dial in my values 90 let go it's all set and it's also set on the software so whatever I do on the machine is gonna reflect right in the software and I must say the new um, damn it. I must say the new 1.3 is much faster I don't see any lag and you know what I'm saying when I'm changing stuff so boom I go down here first track is he says dark child right here um, it says it on the computer as well if I change that boom so I'm going from the top up change that to live change it again change on the computer change again change and so forth now over to here now I go up go over change my plugin to plugins and I would go down here basically I'm just using everything my on the hardware itself to control this go over to plugin I would change that and all my plugins will load up select so it's just basically just the the hardware I was using. The only thing I notice is I can't change or select a sound from the hardware. I'd have to go in the computer now. So this is the part where I actually goes into the computer and you hit this little E right here. It brings up the hardware interface. And then I uh, go in here and I would select my sample tank sounds. And I go to brass, whatever. Pick one there, and then I can go right to my. Oh, it's not set up yet, so I. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to go in here and set my MIDI to my Akai keyboard input from Akai and PC Studio and PK Port 1. Hit OK. Now, if I hit anything on here, it should play that. Basically, same thing here. If I go, I hit a pad on here, 
change the notes. And that's it. So that's working. Basically, how you set up your thing working with a MPC Studio and uh, MPK 49. <laughs> now, um, now that I got that set, I could go ahead and I could go to track two again back on the hardware, change that, and I'm gonna go back over here, hardware again, change that to my drum kit. Go back over here. It's always on that dark child kit. I don't know why. And turn my levels up. Make sure you always press this full level. And then I'll go over here. Alright, change my kit again. All while using just the soft, the hardware. It's all hardware. So basically the only time I really have to touch that computer is when I got to um, press or choose a program from the plugin. Yeah. So the only time I really have to touch the computer is when I got to choose a program from the plugin, which I already can call up on the, use the hardware to call up, but you know, just for this video sake, I'm gonna do a call up right now. Plug in, sample tank. These are all can be done from the hardware, but just to chain. Okay, let's do. Let's change that. It's gonna say whatever, whatever. Except. So I'm gonna change that. Oh boy. Okay. And this is the only time that I really have to use the mouse to select what plugin I want to use on that channel. Because I can't I don't know how to or I don't think it's possible to actually call up the plugin. I mean, let's let me go back here, hold on. Okay, so I'm on plug-in mode, and I can hit window here. See? Window here. Close. Go back to plug-in window. And it's only going to bring up the preset from that, um, that plug-in. It only brings up the presets. There's no way of, you know, choosing certain parameters off the virtual instrument from the, the hardware. Here I go again, I select the changes, scroll back down again, pick something else, I can select it. But these are all just like, basically, if you look, let me go back into the software here and let you look at it. Um, matter of fact, I never tried this before. Let me try something. Multi, sax. Okay, so it's on sax. So if I scroll down, brass, bass, string, whatever, whatever. Hmm. I think you can actually do that. Guitar select. It changes right here in the the screen, and this is just by the sort by me using the hardware. Go down. Down, 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 select something else, changes again. But like certain parameters, select, it changes. I have to look further into controlling more parameters from the.
So yeah, I'm gonna try to look into changing more things from the hardware itself. But for now, I just use the, the mouse or to go further into details. Um like configuring okay boom. Let's go here. We got that selected. Let's see into controls. Can the MPC control certain these things? These parameters in here, no. No, you notice there's nothing moving. No, 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 nothing is changing. So I gotta do some more in depth work on controlling parameters in the plugins from the MPC studio and I will get back to you guys but that's it for now you know just basically the 1.3 update is good and I like the changes they changed in it um, you got these little buttons up top here that that wasn't there before like that brings up the mixer window right there track view that's just being that's just for this specific track right here is at the bottom of the shows there and you hit that button up there at the top um, you have your song mode right here when, when once it's playing let me hit play but then I, I don't have anything recorded so it's not gonna play but once it's playing it'll, it'll go from start to end here at the top um, you got that sequence right there if I hit play as it plays you're gonna notice as it goes to four to the last bar it's gonna be it's gonna give you a new sequence same thing a basically not a new sequence but the same sequence just looped over again uh, then you got the this is uh your sample recorder right here so basically right here you would just hit I'm doing this just from the, um, the the hardware now. This is just you hit record. It's recording right there. You hit stop, stop, and just you hit record. It's just 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 you hit record. Just just you hit record. Just just you hit record. It's just you hit record. Just just you hit record. It's just you hit record. Just just you hit record. Okay. So that's the sample right there. Now sample edit. Same thing right here. You go into here. And just 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 you record is just 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 you just you record just just you record just just you record is just 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 you record just just you record it all right that's that then you can go to chop sample and what I normally do is convert it to a Catchphrase, I think it is. And I want to go want it to go for two bars, hit do it, and it'll come up. Oh fuck. Right down here at the bottom is that. And so this is my sample, and I just want to get that out of it. So I go like that. Just you hit record is record. Just you hit record is just you hit record is just 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 you hit record is just you hit record just just you hit record is just you hit record just just you hit record just just you hit record. So basically, just, if I was doing a loop or a sampling something, that would just and I wanted to stop right there, I do that. Normally, the whole thing is that's your original recorded sample. Just you hit record, it's recording right there. You hit stop. Just you hit record. Right. But I don't want to do that. But if you look to my at the bottom left, you'll notice I can use the hardware and control my start of the sample, the loop of the sample, and the end of the sample. So. Right there, I put it to the end, and I could just use the top button on the Q link. The, um, the Q link, the top button on the Q link, four of the four four buttons on the Q link, and just scroll to thousands. That's scrolling it by a thousand right there. Right. Scrolling it by a thousand right there. And if I go down, that's scrolling by a hundred. Just and if you know, if you right here and you want to get more precise, you could scroll it by ten and buy ones to go you know a little bit more in detail but you know normally scrolling it by 10 you know is slow but it actually gets you to exactly where you want to go so that's it right there and then you would just hit all right um uh, 
edit on the on the, the hardware and it's going to ask you what you want to do with the remaining part of the sample the grayed out part the parts the part that's not grayed out and now hit discard hit do it now you just have just the part you selected just you hit record is just you hit, just you hit record is 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 just you hit just 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 you hit record it just just you hit record is okay so that's your sample right there now boom i go back to my main window damn it this is my main window here um go back into get out of here here Go back to here. That's my main window. I think it's on piano mode. That's why. But we don't want to be on that. We want to be on NPC mode. Um, that's why it wasn't assigning. Go back here. New sample. Click on new sample over here. Drag it. Assign it to that. Just, just there we go. That's why it wasn't. It was on um. Plugin mode. That's why I wasn't assigning this sample. So now we're here. Just you just you hit record. It. Just you just you hit record. It's for just you hit record. It. Just you just you hit record. It's for just you hit record. It's for so that's that. Um, now, if for some reason that pitch right there is not the just you hit record. Not gonna it's go with your. Record. Not gonna go with whatever you're doing, and you wanna. You wanna. You know maybe turn it up or speed it up or whatever you just go back in here I'm doing this a hard way pick your sound new sample just you just record it record it just you record it just you record it record it all right now you go over here and you want to hit that just you record it just you just you record it just just you record it just just you record it just you just you record it just you just you record it just just you record just you just you record it just you just you record it and again just you record is record just you just you record is record just you record just you 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 record just you just you record is record just you record is record and you can use this button here to tune it speed it up a little bit just you record just you just you record is record just you record is just you just you record is record just you record is just you record is just you just you record is just you just you record is just you 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 record just you just now that speeds it up and you know change the timing or whatever. Just and these filters right here now are used to basically you know, cut out some of the highs. So these are the tricks that they use to basically when they're sampling songs, they you know what I'm saying they use add these filters to it. And you know, they take take out the like the bass out of the whatever they sample to so they can reuse it back in another track. And they're like filters for whatever you want to use it for, basically, you know. See? Each one takes out a certain part of you know I'm saying take out different parts of the the sample. Now over here you have your plugins. These are the plugins that you can use to add to your add the effect to your sample, whatever you want to add to your sample to make it sound better. Oh, I might put a reverb on it. Um and then you know your plugin window will come up and you can adjust your plugin to affect the sample however you want to do it. You know. Um might want to add a little bit of delay to your sample. You adjust it to your likeness. You know, turn it down so it doesn't delay that much. Just 
I know, um, what's the problem? I'm having a problem with the verb. The verb is a little bit too high. Turn that down. Just see record is record just 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 add effects you know the, the the possibilities and the effects are limitless and you know you know you can work with the plugins now so the outboard gear is is getting kind of outdated or you know you don't really need the outdoor outboard gear no more normally I would just go out and buy like a rolling um, rack piece just to get a certain sound or go out and buy a motif rack you know what I'm saying connect it with my MP and then just get a controller but now you can just buy a software and connect control it from your laptop using the MPK and your Akai MPC studio or the MPC Renaissance or whatever I can't really speak on the Renaissance because I don't really own it so I got to speak on the studio that I have just see just see just see record is just see record is record